All right, YouTube. Well, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I have tried and taken others' videos, but uh, they didn't come out so well. So, uh, freaking now that we did some more stuff and more steps happened, let's just do an update now. So, start off six nine. Nothing's changed really. Just got a bunch of crap on the back. So, but uh, still ready to go to work. I don't know if I ever showed these or not, but yeah, we built these little uh, side things for it, so they may have been in a video already, but yeah, there you go, just little uh, homemade steak sides for it. We're gonna, I think we're gonna do something a little bit better soon, but that's just so uh, we don't have to worry about stuff falling off. Just a little helper there. Um, working on working on organizing the barn. Um. Just got all the stuff from my graduation party torn down in here because uh, we had my uh, graduation party stuff in here, so you can see some of the stuff right there where people were signing and whatnot. So, but uh, that ended up being really fun. So, didn't get any video though, but you know, haven't been some good videos. Um, tractors got them all back in here now. They were sitting outside while the party was happening. Um, Couple of them yet, couple of tractors here you actually haven't seen yet, which I'm actually gonna get this pallet jack here out of the way. I'm gonna put it over here by the lawn cart. There we go. So we got access to the lawn cart, and we got access to all the tractors now. So uh, a couple of these you haven't seen yet. Um, start off here. Go ahead and start off with this uh, John Deere. It says it's a two weight and it's got the uh, eight horse color in it and whatnot. But uh, according to uh, some guys on Facebook, let me get this off the hood of my uh, out of, off the 19.9, which I'll show you here in a little bit after I show you the uh, 208. I don't. I think I may have talked about this before on YouTube about bringing this home to get it ready to sell. But here it is, eight horsepower color. Um, this one's the four speed. So you got the First and then the first and then Granny Low, which is which is you know nice. And then it's got the variator, but uh, according to some of the guys on Facebook, these uh, 208s didn't have uh, variators. So if someone can help me out with that, this is probably uh, this is probably a 208 just because it's got the uh, a horse engine and the uh, correct 208 badging. But uh, Mike's had this for God knows how long, probably before he was born. They may have bought this new and maybe just added a variator later. Um, this is a repaint, not the greatest repaint, but it is a repaint. It is actually pretty nice, um, but it's far from perfect, obviously. But you know, um, I've actually looked into buying this just because it's cool and it's got an eight horse that runs pretty well, despite the fact that it had the living shit beaten out of it. In its past, so um, it's got the skinny wheels, so I could put eggs and tri ribs on here if I wanted to, which is nice. Um, the rear tires are in good shape. The front ones are kind of dry rotted, but they're not horrible. They hold air, so which is good. All the tires hold air. Uh, it's got a cigarette lighter, which I don't know if it works or not. Um, I don't. This thing, this thing doesn't work. The actual lighter, but the outlet itself might still work, which that'd be nice for uh, things like PA Plow Day and whatnot. If I decide to take this just to have around, just to drive, if uh, more people decide to come with me to PA Plow Day, so uh, we're taking more than one tractor next year because one person had to walk everywhere, and that just wasn't. There was a lot of driving you had to do from field to field, so. Um, but yeah, I'm um, just going to warn you guys now, this is going to be a bit of a longer video just because uh, i got to go in depth here with two tractors, so. Um, this is either a 77 or a 78, like I said. Uh, the seat's alright, I mean, it's got some stuff going on here and then going on there, and then there's a little, that's something else going on in here too, besides dirty. But the uh, seat itself is actually not too bad. Um, definitely good seat. Um, here's the attachments that came with it. Um, mint. And I mean a mint. 43 blower. Oh no wait. 
That's the blower. Sorry, I was aiming at the wrong thing. That's what she said. Um, besides the point, a Mint 43 blower, single stage, that turns beautifully. And it's actually in really nice shape. Um, there's not too much paint in here on the uh, augers, but uh, the blower itself is just in nice, and I mean nice condition. It's been used too. There's your shot down the, the chute. This ain't really good lighting in this area, so. That's your shot down the chute. Uh, mint front dozer blade. It's right about the same shape as my suburban do dozer. And then there's the uh, tiller, so. That's a, uh, uh, I don't know the code name for the blade. It's a 36 inch blade, it's smaller than my other one. So, my sears will probably stay. Uh, snowfall duty. And then there's the tiller. So, nice attachments, in nice shape. The tractor itself runs okay. It's sat for a while, so it's got dirty fuel. Or a uh, dirty carb, I mean. The fuel itself is probably dirty too. Um, but it's got fresh fuel. The carb could use a cleaning. But, uh, yeah. I don't want to start it up since, uh, our little, uh, chicken friend, who's now in a bigger cage, because she's getting bigger. A little friend in here. I think I showed you her before. Yeah, our little friend's in here. I don't want to gas her out. So, uh, the duck that was in here has uh, been added to the flock now. They're all getting along good, which is good. Um, so, we're just going to keep this one, though, separate. This one came with a broken foot, and it's just kind of eh. Chickens are a little more, uh, a little more uh, asshole-like than... Uh, ducks, so. Just gonna leave her in there. Um, so let's uh, talk about this 19.9. Um, I teased a video earlier, probably about two weeks ago, about this, and I never showed it. So, here you go. Here's the 19.9. It's a uh, 78 with the uh, N52M. Um, didn't come with those tires, those are mine from the SS16. Those are the other ones that were on there. The SS-16 house still is sitting on its aluminums and all that stuff. But, uh, figured since this one's got the big engine, might as well put a set of big tires on it. And then, uh, these front tires are off the, uh, parts tractor that we have. So, because the other ones would not hold there. The tires that we got on it were all junk. I think, like, two out of the four were holding there. So, but, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pull the hood off for you. So, there's the engine. It's a uh, Onan N52M. Um, it runs alright. I could definitely use a carb cleaning as well. But uh, I'm going to get to that here soon. Um, the GT18 is kind of higher on my priority list. So, uh, I'm just going to keep that right there so I don't run into it. But it runs really good. Um, I'll go ahead and fire this one up for you. This one is a little more keen on starting. That is some high throttle. Go ahead and climb on it here. Uh, the neutral safety switch has not been bypassed on this one yet, so uh, um, if it actually goes, I'll get it done, but you know. Oh wow, I'm actually gonna have to use the choke. quite keen on idling yet, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All 
All right, so that's pretty good. Oop, I can't see foam off. Oh well. Oh well, I'm gonna just pause my song. Actually, I'm just gonna change it. That'll work. Um, but yeah, that's the 99. It runs really good, actually. It's just, uh, it's kind of like the GT18. It isn't keen on idling. It must just be an owning thing that I have problems with, but uh, it runs a lot smoother than the GT18 does right now. But the GT18 is in need of its carby built kit. But I'll get to that in a second. Um, it's, uh, it's in pretty good shape. All things considered, um, they had tire chains on it, so uh, they did the famous cut the footboard, which uh, kind of pisses me off, so I'll have to find new footboards for it. The fenders are, meh, they're alright, I mean, they're a little bit more bent now because I had to modify them for the tires. So, the seat, I think is the original seat with the new cover on it, but I'm just going to leave that alone until I uh, get around to redoing this one. I'm probably going to do this one next after I get the SS16 finished up, so let me go ahead and get the hood put back on right here and uh, we'll go ahead and continue on. Actually, I'll just go ahead and pause the video. Alright, we're back and uh, I got the hood on. Um, nose cone is a little, uh, little unfortunate. It's got a crack right there and then the hood hinges are obviously broken off. That's why I have to just pull the hood off and whatnot when I want to go and do engine work. But uh, my dad's cousin thinks he can uh, get this all fixed up, so I'll see what I'm going to let him see what he can do with it. Get her all fixed up for me. I don't know if the lights work. I mean, that's loose. It may actually be broken. This one's good. This one might be good. Maybe I'll just like, uh, I don't know. I'll probably just buy LEDs for it, like all my other ones. Um. Everything else on it appears to charge. I think my battery's just a little weak, so uh, when I get some time, I'll just slap it on the charger. That is not a cornhole board, whatever. Um, this one has an electric three point hitch on it. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go on the other side here, because that seems to work out a little bit better. Let's see here. Um, every so often the switch has a little bit of problem lifting it up, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and uh, give her a uh, new switch. The hour meter seems to act a little weird every so often. Um, when uh, my dad first picked this up for me, um, he ended up having an issue where uh, you turn the key off but the engine kept running, So, but it seems to be fixed now, so the engine turns off with the key, so... Which is good. Because uh, this would be hard to... I mean, I could just choke it out. But, yeah. That's the 19.9. Um, I do have another set of tire chains that came with it. And then there's a uh, moldboard plow that was with this one, too. I think it's a 10-inch. Which would be good, because this is good. I want this to go to plow day next year, so... Uh, the dash is cracked, unfortunately. Right here. On the side's cracked. And it's broken out where the bolts are, but it's not bad. Um, the uh, cluster is in good shape. Choke works nice. Moves free, the throttle's stiff, but I say it's fine. Um, key switch is good, headlight switch. Works, stiff, but works. I don't know if it actually works, but it moves freely, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it with that one. Um, I'm gonna try and buy this one off my, uh, or off mic. I really like this thing quite a lot, so. Sooner or later you'll probably see this one, in my name, or, uh, if not this one, and then there's a, uh, 214 that, uh, is sitting at the, uh, other house, so, well, at his house, so. That's, I'm also gonna try and buy. That's in about the same shape. Um, it might need an ignition switch or whatnot, because it doesn't have spark. But the guy that was fixing those, he fixed this, this one, and then the 214. And he said the 214 may have a bad ignition switch, and it may go soon, so 
or it may not be that, I don't know what it is, but it's going to get fixed and running, so. Uh, this one here is doing really good. Putting that deck on was just the best thing that could have happened. Haven't broken a belt since. And it's just, it's working a lot better now, which is good because that's our main mower since uh, this one's been giving me lots of fits. Um, just yesterday when I was driving this thing in here from sitting outside, I, uh, I threw the belt. And, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that big old chunk out of that belt. It's a pretty nice sized chunk, huh? So, yeah, it's time for a new belt. And there's multiple chunks missing out of this belt, so. <laughs> I say it's definitely time for a new one. But, uh, somehow or another, it managed to throw it off. But yet, it's like on here to the point where there's just enough tension where I can still move, so. But as you can see, I, I can't get the camera in there, but it's off the main pulley, so. I have the, uh, belt guard off, so. I don't know what, oh, it's right here on the seat. But yeah, I got the belt guard off, so. This one's going to need some work. Uh, I'm going to probably pick up an 81 inch red rubber belt for this because I know where I can go get them. So I'm going to get a belt for this and I'll probably just get a belt for this one too. This one doesn't need it but it's getting there. So And a starter generator belt is definitely going to be necessary because the starter generator belt is getting a little dry rotted. So I'm going to pick up a 3 8 by 38 belt. So just fun with old tractors but... Somehow or another, it managed to drive itself in here even with the belt off the pulley. Don't ask me how, it just managed that it did it, so... Uh, I'm going to do a cold start on this one. It's been so warm outside, I haven't had to use the choke very often, so... I haven't, I've been used to not using the choke on these guys. Like the 199, when I started it up over there, that was like the first time I actually used the choke on that. Which is pretty awesome. pretty good that's uh, this one here is officially the best one unless you count the 216 which has never had problems starting and running just deck issues but this one here by far has definitely been the hardest worker so let me get my parts sorted up for this one here get a new belt going for her and uh, she'll be ready to go I'm not gonna start it just cuz I don't want to uh, burn the belt up anymore so but it still runs the same. Still got the plow on it. It's still the same way from PA Plow to I haven't even taken the time to get it power washed or anything like that, but I'll get to it. Um, and then the old SS is over in the garage. Um, I haven't shown it in a while, but I feel like I need to. There's a grill, and there she is, the two very flat front tires, and she's in here now, she's dirty, but, uh, yep, gonna get the diesel for this one, and, uh, go from there, so, I took the battery out of this one, though, for the, uh, 199, so, that one doesn't have a starter in it, though, so, you can't do anything with it. And, where did he go? He was over here. There's Ferg. There's Ferg. Ferg! Come on, Ferg. Come on out. Come on, Ferg. Stop sniffing everything. Come on! Come on, Ferg. Ferguson. He tends to do this to me. 
But, yep, there she is. Nice and filthy dirty. So. But. I think that's uh, pretty much it for stuff going on around here. It's been nice and cool. It was nice and cool out today. It was about 75 or so. So I figured today's a good day to come out here and uh, get this video made because I teased this thing and never made a video on it. And then this thing came around. So now nah, what the hell? We'll do a cold start on this one too. I think you guys need to hear it. It's a good running machine by far. Pass throttle, choke it. That actually was pretty good. Um, that actually is running a lot better than I thought. So, maybe after the video, I'll take her out for a little cruise and get that on video. Just a little quick cruise of the 208, and then, yeah, we'll wait for tomorrow maybe to do that one, but that's actually running really good. So, I think the car problem sorted itself out, and a uh, little sea foam. Oh yeah, they put, I forgot, forgot about the sea foam, but that definitely helped. I'm going to put a little sea foam in this one and maybe run it around, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh man, I just remembered. It's missing this guard, the pulley guard. Maybe for, uh, um, if I don't take this one, the GT18 to a show, maybe I'll just slap the pulley guard from in on here for now and just, just send it. So... Maybe I'll switch out the nose cones too, since I can have some SSBTC sponsorship on here, so. Just to make it run. Just gonna send it, so. But uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video here, since I'm getting a little bit redundant now, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.